Taiwan on Wednesday welcomed the first European Parliament delegation to visit the island, calling the trip significant and its latest move towards stronger ties with Europe amid heightened tensions between Taipei and Beijing. Taiwan, which China claims as its own territory and has not ruled out taking by force, does not have formal diplomatic relations with any European countries apart from Vatican City. India's Prime Minister Modi has asked the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson that his country wants to discuss the issue of Khalistan activists who operate from Britain and run Khalistan referendum campaign across the UK. Indian Foreign Secretary says National Security Advisors of India and UK will meet later this month to talk about aggressive leaders, activists of Khalistan. Tackling global climate change needs more than empty slogans and big entourages, China's senior envoy to the United Nations Jiang Jun said on Wednesday, amid criticism of Chinese President Xi Jinping's failure to attend climate talks in Glasgow. On other hand, United Nations President says China has made big mistake by not attending COP26. It's a gigantic issue and they've walked away. Ethiopia declared a six-month state of emergency after forces from the northern region of Tigray said they were gaining territory and considering marching on the capital. United Nations to halt Ethiopian duty-free access over rights issues. No fewer than 20 people have been confirmed dead in the 21-story building that collapsed on Monday in the area of Lagos State. Again, another two-story building has collapsed in Lagos today. The Taliban in Afghanistan declared a total ban on the use of foreign currency, a shock move that threatened to rattle an economy already cash-starved and nearing collapse. The use of foreign currency has a negative impact on the country's economy, the Taliban said, adding that all citizens, shopkeepers, traders, businessmen and the general public should conduct business using the Afghani. Ex-cop Eric Adams, who fought racial discrimination within the police, was elected New York's next mayor and will become just the second African American to lead the United States' largest city. Adams will become New York's 110th mayor. Being New York's mayor is often described as the most difficult job in the United States after the president. Pakistan has paid a whopping $100 million approximately in penalties to the Asian Development Bank for its failure to execute various donor-funded projects within the stipulated during, during, during the last 15 years. The ADB imposed 0.15% amount as commitment charges on signed projects if the executing agencies fail to deliver on implementation of projects within the stipulated time frame and signed loan amount was not disbursed, top official sources confirmed. Pakistan has lost 11 lives to the coronavirus. According to NCOC, 561 new infections were reported in the last 24 hours. The positivity rate was recorded at 1.27%. Pakistan's textile exports surged to an all-time high of $6.04 billion in the first four months from July to October of this fiscal year 2021 to 2022 led by the value-added sector. As per the latest figures of the Pakistan Bureau of Statistics and All Pakistan Textile Mills Association. The National Electric Power Regulatory Authority asked the government to review its proposed subsidy rationalization plan that would cause additional burden to consumers. A power division official said the revision would increase the average base power tariff from 13 rupees and 97 pesi per unit at present to 15 rupees and 36 pesi per unit after notification. Chinese Assembly now announced an increase of prices of 70 to 125 cc motorcycles by 3,000 rupees with effect from November 8. Earlier, 
Atlas Honda Limited had increased motorcycle prices by 4,000 rupees to 6,000 with effect from November 1st. The demand for two-wheelers has been increasing across the country due to rising petrol prices and ineffective public transport system. Astronomers have discovered a massive shipyard where galaxies are built, similar to the one our Milky Way grew up in. The giant structure, called a protocluster, contains more than 60 galaxies and is 11 billion light years from Earth, so far away that scientists are observing a part of the universe that is only 3 billion years old.